NHD production live here with Wally Fister, who's the cinematographer for Inception. Wally, can you tell me a little bit about how you're feeling right now pre-Academy Award? I'm, I'm very excited right now. We're just a few days away from the Oscars. And, uh, and uh, you know, I'm busy working on another film right now, so I'd have, my mind is not on it all the time, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm very excited, very much looking forward to it this weekend. And you've been nominated four times, so you're, are you feeling a little bit of suspense or how do you feel about the competition? Yeah, well this is, yeah, this is my fourth time up to it, so, you know, um, uh, it's, always a, it's always a tough race. Every year is, is a little bit tricky and this year, you know, uh, I'm up against a good friend of mine, Roger Deakins, who's been nominated nine times for, for the Oscar. So, it's, uh, you know, he's definitely due. I think we both did a lot of great work. And, uh, you know, there's another nominee, Maddie Libatique, who's a good friend, and he's nominated for Black Swan. So um, it's, as usual, it's a tough horse race, and you really don't know what the Academy members are thinking until you arrive there that evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. And can you tell me a little bit about your inspiration for the film and your artistic choices? Yeah. Um, well, th the inspiration always comes from the script, and Christopher Nolan wrote an amazing screenplay that was really inspiring to all of us, I think, and, and uh, I was very excited visually by the prospect of putting dreams on the screen and, and what the treatment for the dreams was going to be, and, um, and Chris's take on it was he wanted the dreams, he wanted the whole film to feel real, you know, because when you're in a dream, it feels very real to you, so, so he wanted that, that to try to translate that to the screen. So I tried to keep it simple and naturalistic looking, um, despite some very, very large set pieces and some huge action bits. Um, but, uh, but hopefully we accomplished that. Okay. Did you take anything from your own dreams, or were you trying to remember your own dreams while you were working on it? I was, I was. I was trying to draw from my own experiences, and, and which is always helpful in any you know, artistic endeavor. And, uh, in this case, I, I remember this dream state that, that uh, Chris had talked about where um, you're sort of in between falling asleep and, and uh, REM state and you can, you're kind of drifting back and forth with between the conscious and the subconscious and you feel um, uh, you sometimes can't tell whether you're awake or, or whether you're asleep and uh, it's, a, it's a really incredible feeling and experience, so I thought about that a lot as we were kind of putting this all together. Okay. And I know that some of the actors were kind of like confused making the film, <laughs> what's going on, because it was such a complicated vision. Did yeah. you feel that way at all, or were you pretty clear on things? I think by the time we got shooting, I was pretty clear on things, but uh, you know, honestly, you have to read the script a few times. It's, it's the same with any you know, Chris Nolan movie. You really have to read it a few times to peel all the layers of the onion back before you really understand what's going on and you, you appreciate it for what it is. And I think that, that as I had to read it several times, I think that audiences get a lot more out of this film by multiple viewings, mm -hmm. uh, which is not to say it doesn't hold up watching it once, but I think it becomes more uh, interesting as you watch it several times and find new things to see. Cool. And um, what do you have coming up next that we can look out for? I'm, uh, I'm currently in pre-production on The Dark Knight Rises, which is the sequel to The Dark Knight, also with Christopher Nolan. And um, once again, Christian Bale's playing Batman. Michael Caine has returned. Uh, and uh, of course, we've got Anne Hathaway in the film as well now. So. That's exciting. Do you like working with all the cool actors? Yeah, I do. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I, I really find uh, most, of, most of the people we work with have been just wonderful and, and professional on set. And, uh, you know, I've, I've done nearly five pictures with Christian Bale, so we know each other very well. And, and it's comfortable. It's, it's like a family on the set now when we, when we all show up to do a Batman film. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>